Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 3. It has been quite a while since I've uh, done a Train Sim World episode and I can only apologise for that. Um, yeah, kind of got lost in things and um, yeah, Train Sim World kind of fell down the rabbit hole. Anywho, we're back with another episode now and today we are going to be doing a scenario that I've found. It's going to be on the Great Western Express and we're going to be doing the Westworld scenario. And what this is, it says you're scheduled to drive a high speed service out of London to the West Country. When ready, head over and get things set up for departure. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So yeah, hopefully from now on, uh, Trains and World will be back on a weekly basis, back on Thursdays as it always has been. You've been called into Carmerford Driver who's been delayed on another service. You're needed to take the train out to Reading, where the driver will continue the service as scheduled. Okay then. So we are going... Uh... Why can't I move? Question mark? Oh, there we are. Just a little bit delayed. Right, we're going... Nope, not that way. We'll get there in a minute. There we are. Head over to the main platform. This way? Yep, it's going to be down here. And it looks like... Oh, other way. Other way. We'll get there in a minute. There we are. So we are going to be boarding this service. Oh, train 0000. zero, 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 zero. Okay. Well, that's clearly broken. Let's open the door here. There we are. Right, first things first. Let's get the train set up and ready for departure. So, we'll just crouch down here just to see if there's anything here. Make sure we've got everything set up. That all looks good over there. So, we will now sit down in the driver's seat. There we go. So, set the headlights today and the reverse up to forward. We will do that now. The thing is, I haven't driven a while in the train so uh yeah that's the wipers beaver that's the wipers headlights there we are we want them set to day okay i guess it's just going to be day headlamp and markers okay and reverser can go to forward engine off unlock that forward there we are and it says unlock the doors on the left side, which we will do. And now AWS is on. Where's the doors? Get there in a minute. There they are. Is that them right in front of us? Where's the blooming door? Can't find a door. That's wipers. Beaver, it's not that. Train supply. Thought it would have been one of these. Parking brake. Headlight flash. Uh... Well, this is awkward. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's literally none of these. None of these. Tell you what, I'll be right back when I found the right button. Okay, well, I couldn't actually end up finding the switch on the actual train, so I've just had to use the uh, appropriate button on my keyboard so yeah i don't understand what that's all about i've literally checked every single button in this cab and yeah i can't see a specific button for the doors you'll probably be screaming at me in the comments i'll be there you silly idiot it's right in front of you it's under your nose which i wouldn't actually be surprised by that to be honest with you but uh yeah passengers are getting on board and hopefully they'll be on board soon yeah, it's nice to be back in Train Sim World. Haven't been here in a while. And my, oh my, they are taking their time to get on board, aren't they? Okay, we can close the doors. There we are. And set the train brakes to running. We will do just that. There we are. And apply power already. Give the driver a little buzz there. Sorry, the conductor. Okay, come on, let's go. There we are. Okay. 
Okay, I've got a speed limit of 40. Okay, it looks like we've got a green aspect right ahead of us, or is that road? I'm not really sure. We're on the third line from the left. Oh, we're moving over. Okay. Alright, we've got a... are we going over again? Yeah, we're on one, two, three. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, looks like we've got a yellow aspect ahead of us. So we're just going to roll back, just in case. Let's go ahead and acknowledge that. Okay, looks like we've got red lights down ahead of us. So we're just going to get some initial braking going here. Okay, looks like we are good to go. Um, I don't know why the right doors have unlocked. I didn't ask for that. Yeah, I just want to watch our speed here because it looks like, yeah, we've got a lot, a double yellow aspect out of us there. So that probably means that we're following another service. Yeah, I don't really want to put the foot down in case uh, we end up having to stop. I know we've just been cleared up to 85. I think we'll get up to about 40 just in case. Oh, yeah, that's just gone green, so we're definitely following another service. Okay. 
tell you what, whilst we're here, we'll just go down there a little bit. See if we can get a nice thumbnail here. There we are. I think what we'll do also is we'll get some cab light on because it is a little dark. There we are, that's much better. Hopefully whatever service we were following is actually out of our way now. Okay, perfect. Green aspects out of us. And we are cleared up to 85 miles an hour. And I'll just give them a little toot. Yeah, guys, do let me know if there's any um, any specific DLC that you'd like me to have a look at or any specific scenario that you'd like me to check out. I'll be happy to do that. Just let me know down in the comments. I do miss these old inner city 125s. It's such a shame that they're now gone. Because they are quite nice trains. But obviously, you know, they want all the modern ones in now with all the uh, lower emissions and whatnot. So, I, you know, I kind of understand, but still a little sad that these had to go. Because they are, you know, British heritage. Really nice trains. Yeah, I can't see us getting in on time. Probably has something to do with the fact that I spent three minutes at the start trying to find the door button and then couldn't find it. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Let off the throttle there. See, I haven't seen any more speed limit changes. So at the moment, we'll just stick around where we are. Between 80 and 100, quite happy here. Now at some point, we'll probably be cleared up to 120 miles an hour.
Okay. Looks like we've got a speed limit change. Or well, something's happening. AWS just went off. Get her in a minute. Either way, slow down until we see what's going on. Okay, so we've just had a speed limit change. It went down to 70. Although it is proving quite quiet at the moment. It's a very quiet trip. Okay, and is that a yellow aspect for us? Not really sure right now. speed on here. Okay, maybe we'll actually be able to make up some of that lost time. So we're what, 20 miles away now, and we've got about 10 minutes. So yeah, depending on whether we do get any more slowdowns or stoppages, we should be all right, actually. Should be able to make it. I don't know why we're getting little jitters there. Maybe it's just the performance thing. 
Yeah, I always seem to get that with trains in World 3. I don't know why, whether it's just poor optimization or if it's just something else. some initial braking going because we got a AWS warning now So far, so good. It looks like we are starting to catch up on some time here. Hopefully it'll continue like this.
Okay, 10 miles away. Hopefully we can keep up this speed here. I'm thinking maybe we're definitely not going to be on time. Because, yeah, we've got, what, three minutes to do nine miles? That's three miles a minute. I think we'd have to go some to do that. So, yeah, somehow I don't think that's happening. Okay, looks like we've got it down to maybe a couple of minutes delay here. Hopefully we can be there by 7pm. That would be good. It means we'll have only lost about two minutes. So we're going to need to be on the lookout for speed changes as they are more than likely to start appearing now that we're getting closer to the station. So I'm probably expecting, I don't know, maybe a drop to 80 or 90, then a further drop down to 40. Okay, that was a 120 there. Keep it as we are for the moment train is slowing down naturally as it is so there's not really any need to get brakes on Okay, we've got an 80 speed limit there. And 
looks like we've got a double yellow aspect up ahead. And what have we got there? High speed train 80. Okay. Either way, we're under that anyway. Even if it actually is 95, we're still good here. Yes, I've seen it. Okay. Okay, there we are. That didn't actually turn out that badly. Only, what, uh, four minutes late? Right, let's get them doors open. So yeah, guys, oh, I do hope you enjoyed that episode of Train Sim World, of course. It's nice that it is back on the channel. And yeah, like I said, hopefully from now on it will be back on a weekly schedule. And if there is any specific DLC or train or scenario that you want me to have a look at, just uh, go ahead and drop those comments down in the description below. Yeah, we'll just wait for the uh, passengers to disembark here, and then that'll be our job done. Or at least it should be. You are most welcome. Uh, disembark from the servers and head for the station exit. Okay. We will do just that. Oh, where are we going? There we are. Alrighty, so what do we do? Oh, we got a gold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Actually pretty pleased with that. Being as we haven't played in a while. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me for this episode of Trains and World 3. 
and until the next episode, take care.